Welcome to Steph AB TV. Welcome to the Mini JCW, the John Cooper Works Mini, the new one for 2019, which is pretty much the refreshed version of the last model. Now, what do we get from this? I mean, first of all, let's go back. Let's go back to when you know we first started to see cool things from Mini, and it was I can't remember the exact date, was it 2000 or 2003, when we saw the. Uh, the Cooper S with the 1.6 litre supercharged engine, which was very cool, it had that very distinct whine to it. And then we saw, I believe it was the R56 model, which started to convert into turbocharging. And then obviously Mini JCW have done their bids. And now we're in this one, and this is a two litre turbocharged, well, twin power turbocharged engine, which is very quick. on this car 230 bhp and 236 foot pounds of torque which is a very very quick car for what it is and uh, it will deliver a zero to 60 time in 6.3 seconds which well, that's that's something to be pretty proud of to be fair but also with this car you get a lot of premium feel to it and i'll touch on the interior very shortly but the most noticeable which i'm sure you're seeing already on camera are these incredible seats exclusive for jcw only the kind of alcantara leather and they really do hug you so when you are being a bit of a hooligan like i am now and throwing this car around you're not going anywhere now what about what options you've got so i'm in a currently in a, in a six speed manual you do get the option of an eight speed steptronic which is i think is cool but it's nice that you have the manual option when I throw this thing around a corner, <laughs> the suspension feel is great. There's not much roll, in fact. The steering is quite interesting on this car, I must admit. But you get used to it, I think. I think um, a lot of people have talked about the Mini steering, but um, I think the more you drive it, the more you get used to it, the more you understand how the steering feel and kind of how it behaves and stuff. It's good fun, this. <laughs> it is very good fun. And I think that's what the hot hatches, the hot hatch industry is all about, isn't it? It's about making you, making you have a good time, reminding you of your youth, and just when you really want to throw it into ASBO mode, you have the option to do that. Now, what about kind of fuel economy and stuff? Well, many say that you'll get about 40 miles to the gallon out of this uh, from the manual, the six-speed manual. And I think if you push up to the eight-speed Steptronic, you get close to about 46 miles to the gallon, which makes sense because you've got an extra two gears, which means on a run, uh, you're sitting lower down the RPM range. <laughs> this is cool, man. Now, check this, touch down. Auto rev match. Now I first saw that in the Honda Civic Type R, which I thought, I thought was a very cool addition. I don't think you get many people in the back seat of this car, let's be honest. I mean, I'm relatively tall, six foot, so uh, my seat is quite far back. There isn't that much space behind me to allow for passengers to, uh, well, sit comfortably, let's put it that way. But for the front two passengers, on the other hand, they're having a great time. Now this particular Mini JCW is in a very, very nice kind of, feels like a bit like a San Marino style blue, uh, the kind of blue you find on the, on, on the BMWs, which would make sense because it's BMW group after all. But you do also now in this model kind of get a lot more piano black exterior panels alongside a lot of the piano black interior stuff, which I think looks really, really nice. We also get the uh, Union Jack tail lights, which I think looks superb and it's a real tribute to Britain. England. That's what the Mini's all about really, isn't it? And it does a great job at showing that. You turn it on, the lights kind of light up, you see the Union Jack headlight. You also get the LED rings on the front headlights as standard, which look very cool. But look at this corner. <laughs> I did talk about the way this car feels to drive and it's, it does feel really good, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there are a few gripes though, however, which I am starting to, I guess they're, they're annoying me a little bit. Uh, you've probably seen it already. 
uh, on camera as I'm attempting to change gears. Because the concept of having an armrest is brilliant because you know when you talk about premium feel and all that armrests definitely fall into that category but it, it's a little bit like when i'm trying to go second to third i'm like like that and you'll see now as i go through the gears it's not the most ergonomically friendly position because look i'm like <laughs> and then fourth and then into fifth Ugh. so whilst this is great you almost need to to really have a bit of fun driving to raise the armrest a bit and um, and then go for it but I mean if that's one of the gripes really I mean Mini have done a great job <laughs> there's a really nice sound to it too in fact let me pull that back because hidden within here is a wireless charge pad so if you've got a phone wireless phone inside here chuck your phone in happy days Brakes are good as well. So on this car, we've got the 17 inch wheels. I believe you can go for a, a larger package. You can go for the 19 inch wheels. Uh, but on this one, we've got the 17 inch wheels and the brakes are really good. They do fill, they fill the, the alloy wheel space quite well and they do a good job at stopping you look. And the hazard light come on as well when you're really gonna put your foot down. a very nice sound to it as well that two litre engine I must admit this does have three different settings so you've got you've got sport mid and green so green I'm in green at the moment right now let's put it to green it kind of gives you all these fancy little displays to tell you when to lift off and you know how much how much you're saving and how green you are to the environment uh, which is quite cool so if you want to and I would envisage that's the way you get the most of your economy if you are just trying to save save fuel um, then green is the way to go. You've got mid, uh, which is a more balanced setting. Um, it's not as aggressive. It's still quite aggressive though. Flick into the sport setting, which does the rev matching. Throttle pedal feels more aggressive. And I do get some pops and bangs out the back of the exhaust. And actually, the, it goes back to my other point of, uh, of the power on this, because you can probably see uh, every now and again when I dump the clutch, um, I'm getting quite a bit of traction control on this, and it is dry. Um, and I think that's because there is so much low down torque on this car. Now, what about the price? The price on this car? Now, the base model on this costs about 23 grand, uh, which is pretty good going. But I think with things like the tech pack, which you need to kind of spec in. So the other thing in this car is uh, this, this sports the mini excitement pack. Now, I know you're thinking, what the hell is a mini excitement pack? You'd be thinking excitement is when you're driving like I am now and actually having a great time throwing this thing around corners. But no, no, mini have an excitement pack. And the excitement pack consists of, uh, when you open the doors, you get a nice little fancy mini logo that shines to the floor. Uh, you also get ambient lighting as well, and you get all this fancy lighting, LED lighting in here. Um, I'm not sure what's super exciting about that, but I get the concept. It's uh, I guess it's almost like the premium pack on other cars. So they've just called it an excitement pack, which is which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So from a price perspective, the base model, um, without any of the extras I've just talked about, will cost you 23,700. Uh, if you opt for the auto model, you're paying a bit closer to 25,000. Now, I guess there's a question, you know, manual auto. It's, all, it's always that battle, isn't it? Um, to go for a six-speed manual or an eight-speed automatic, what would you choose? Um, I think it's always something great to have with a manual car, particularly in these kind of hot hatches. I think what the, their purpose is to, to really enjoy throwing around, be a hooligan, um, which this definitely does. But I also think that you have the option of, um, with the Steptronic, with the paddles, eight gears. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one I would potentially go for. 
but I haven't driven this in the form of a Steptronic yet, so it's difficult to kind of compare. From an interior's perspective, this is the this is the viewpoint from the driver's perspective. Uh, so it's very nice. There's a nice, like I said, head-up display there. The analog dial still remain in the center. And of course, you've got the big kind of sat-nav uh, on the left-hand side there. The steering wheel itself feels good. Um, nice kind of hand grips here when you're throwing the car around. Uh, you've also got, obviously, cruise control. Uh, you've got two USB slots in here. So you can put your music, you've got a cigarette lighter in there. You can see more ambient lighting, nice blue color coming through here. Um, I go back to these, let me talk about these, because these for me are, they're incredibly good. They're very, very comfortable. They do a very good job at hugging you. Um, they are a very nice Alcantara and leather feel, but the bolstering is solid. So when you are throwing this thing around corners, you don't have any worry about being thrown out your seat. Uh, very nice kind of JCW detailing in the seat as well. And as I said at the start of the video, the color of this looks gorgeous. It looks really, really nice. The blue with the red lines and the black piano black bits look superb. Uh, you can see the nice big intercooler there to support the turbocharger. Really nice LED lights. Um, in fact, they're really bright. They are super bright. Um, this, this is fake. Um, there is no purpose of that other than styling. It doesn't do uh, any kind of cooling. Um, so it's just kind of for looks. So boot space is, uh, well, it's small really, uh, but then again, it's a hot hatch, so you wouldn't expect it to be massive. Um, you do get on this uh, an extra little hidden compartment, so it goes a bit deeper, which is always a positive as well, so you can kind of store things in here as well as here. The seats do fold forward, so if you do have any days where you are carrying a hell of a load of luggage, then, well, fold the seat forward and you'll be able to carry most things. Massive thanks to Mini for lending me this car. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And of course, I'm gonna see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.